up here in just a couple of minutes for you. You know, we had hoped to have Lawler against uh, Brandon Baxter. Still haven't heard from Lawler. Here comes Bobcat into the ring right now. Yeah, what is she doing? She's got a microphone in her hand and uh, stepped into the ring. That's Bobcat. Huh. Uh-huh. See what she said. Well, some of you might remember me from last week, but let me reintroduce myself. Can't forget her. I'm Bobcat. You know, I've been watching Power Pro Wrestling for the last year, and I noticed you guys are missing something. Me. I'm here to make all your guys' fantasies and dreams and desires come true. I am going to be your eye candy. And as for you women, you need a role model. Someone to look up to. Role model? Me. Role model? What is that about? Well, I candy, with I agree with. further ado, I'm here to special ring announce. So why don't you hit the music, boys? That's uh, Bobcat. She's uh, giving her orders. The music starts, and uh, we've got action in the ring. It's the Power Pro debut of Joey Ab. From the depths of the tormented soul, escorted by Brandon Baxter. Slash. There he is, Slash. Uh, being under, led to the ring by Brandon Baxter. A very underdressed Brandon Baxter, too. Out yeah. here claiming that he saved Jerry Lawler's life. Is that what you talk? Is that how you talk about a hero? Something to save Jerry Lawler's life? Right? I don't. I don't believe it. We haven't been able to find Lawler either. No, not yet. Referee Mike Johnson's in the ring, and we await the debut on the Power Hour of Joey Ed. Kelly from North Carolina, Joey Ed's. Well, thank you, Bobcat. Yes, indeed. Good okay, job. She did a good job there, no doubt about it. Yeah, Joey Ed, former member of the Mean Street Posse, he had a fallen out with him, went out on his own, but pretty successful, too. Referee calls for the bell, and here we go. Slash. Here we go. Thank you, Bobcat. As they say, she is tight. No doubt about it. Look at this. A slam. Woo. Joy Ed gets the move on it. Back slash out. Puts him into the ring. Power slam. He's got him down. Mike Johnson counts it two, and that's all he's able to get. Oh, Joey Ass, boy, we've heard a lot about him. Yeah. Dumped over the top ropes there. Comes in very highly recommended. Yeah, he's been successful, as we said a few minutes ago. He used to be a part of Mean Street Posse. Oh, yeah. Went out on his own. Former MCW champion is, uh, is Joey Ass. And it's around. It's over. Ooh. And Slash, formerly known as Whoopie D, let me tell you, he can go with some of the best. He can go. He blocked Joey Ads with those shin guards that he wears uh, on his lower leg there. Yeah. And now he's trying to take control. He's got Joey Ads up on his shoulder. What's he going to do with it? He spins him around, kind of a modified airplane spin, and just drops him in the ring. And Brandon Baxter celebrates at ringside. There's a cover by Slash. Counted three. Oh, two. two's all he's able to I get. I thought he had a three yeah. count on it. Just a two count's all he got. Slash backs him up, whips Joey Abs in. And the question remains, where is Jerry Lawler? Yeah, I still haven't heard was, of him. Was, I tried. He, was he rescued from under a car by Brandon Baxter, as Baxter two says? Count. I don't believe that. I don't think so. I think Baxter ambushed him. That's why we're trying to check on him and find out where he is. I think Baxter uh, just knew that uh, Foley had, Mick Foley had made the match, him against Lawler, and wanted no part of it. That's what I think happened. I think you're absolutely right on that one. They had Slash. Both of them down in the ring. On the Power Hour today, it has been a good one. We hope you'll join us next oh, week, man. same time, 11 o'clock. Hey, your friends, we're live from the studio of the TV5. Bigger and better than ever. Oh, no doubt about it. Every Saturday morning, 11 until noon. Big slam from Joey Abs, and down he goes. That's a two count, and that's all he's able to get. Mm. Thought he had it with that uh, Mikanichi driver there. Sets him up. Suplex and down he goes. Might Ripley be down again. That's two and Slash is able to kick out again. He can't make it stick. Couple of tough competitors here in Slash and Joey Abs. Both of them have had chances to win, but have not quite been able to put their opponent away. There's Slash with a boot right under the chin. Uh oh, Slash. Joey Abs. Front. Yeah. That's move is. Boot to the midsection and sets him up. Baxter. 
That's him that you hear screaming and yelling because he knows that could do it. That was the one that backs her in. He kicks out. I think he probably would have had it. I think he would have had it for the three count if Baxter yeah. hadn't interfered. Baxter just continues to make enemies out of everybody he runs across. And now he's running to try to get away from Joey Abs. He's back in the ring. Saying, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Yeah. A little too late. Uh, misdirection. Distraction by Brandon Baxter. Can Slash take advantage and get a cover here? We'll see. Referee said, get out of there, Baxter. Trying to get him out of there. That's a DDT. Oh, that working abs over pretty good right now. Slash and Brandon Baxter both. Abs was looking good. Oh, look who shows up. Here's Lawler. Here's the king in. He goes. Oh. He lights up Baxter. And there he goes. He lights him up like a Roman candle. And Baxter takes off. And the king. Lawler's shirt. It looks like he's had some problem too, and I'll bet it was with Brandon Baxter earlier. Yeah, I Maybe bet so. Can, hey, his pants are torn, his shirt's torn. King, what happened? We heard Brandon Baxter with some goofy story. Tell us your version. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I'm coming from my house on Walnut Grove, and I see Brandon Baxter standing on the side of the road, waving me down like this. Look, he's got car trouble, so I did stop and I did back up. But I didn't see any flat tire, but I did see Slash with a tire iron jumping me from behind, tearing up my clothes, and I guess they thought they put me out of business. Well, let me tell you something, boys. It's going to take more than two punks like you to put the king out of business. Do you understand what I'm talking about, huh? Yeah, that explains well, all that stuff. Thank goodness you're here and appear to be all right, not what we heard from Baxter anyway, and I guess we'll continue this later on, King. Glad you're okay. More of it later, this more on the over. Power Hour this next week. Over. Brandon Baxter, you and Slash, this ain't over. I, I wouldn't want to be in their shoes, Dave. Ooh. See you next week.